Hi everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for a new Music Finds video. I want to apologize about the fog. I think this is the best I can get it. I've tried to make this video three times, but only they're not. There's something going on. The, the, the video is very foggy. I think I got it the best I'm going to get it. So I apologize in advance if uh, the video is foggy. I think this is the best I'm going to get it though. But, um, yesterday I went to a place called Rogers, Ohio, and there is a huge flea market there. You've never seen anything like this. There is 800 vendors. That's right, 800 vendors at this flea market. And I didn't even get, I was there for about two and a half, three hours. I didn't even get through half of it. Um, so there's probably a lot of... Lots more um, exciting stuff stuff to see. I didn't get through half of it. Um, there was two people selling records. I didn't see that much music stuff. Although I did see a cool ACDC sign. Um, I saw some music stuff, but not a lot of music stuff. But like I said, there was a lot of other really cool collectibles. I was into like uh, vintage pop culture memorabilia. But I... Uh, like I said, I didn't even get through half of it, so I'm sure there is uh, way more uh, music stuff there, because, um, like I said, it was uh, so huge, 800 vendors, I didn't even get through half. And they have food vendors, it's like a carnival, they have food vendors there, and then there's some, like, Amish stores where you can get some good Amish food, lunch, meat, cheese, uh, desserts. I got a couple of desserts I can't wait to try. I did take a bite out of the one and it was incredible. So, uh, I'm really excited next time I go. There was just so much happening yesterday. I didn't really, it was kind of overwhelming. I really didn't, uh, take it, take a video. But next time I go, I'll know. And I'm definitely going to take a, uh, video at, uh, Rogers, Ohio. The flea market, Rogers, uh, flea, flea market and auctions. And, uh, Rogers, Ohio, and it's about, like I said, an hour away, and it's incredible. So next time, I'm definitely going to take a video there. Um, now, here's the few things I picked up. Um, well, actually, the one is a magazine, and I've had that for a really long time. I just thought I'd throw it in. But I picked up three things yesterday, and I just figured I'd make a quick video showing them to you. So the first thing I picked up was this pristine copy of the Rolling Stone. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shape. And I only paid $15 for this. It is an original, so when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. It's beautiful. Um, the one thing is, I did not look at the record because um, I was just so blown away by how the cover looks that I didn't even look at the record. Uh, but if the but if the record is bad, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to uh, buy a new record and stick it in here. Um, so I'm so excited to have this. This is the original brand new, like brand new, like it just came off the press, still in the shrink. And I love this album, and I love the Rolling Stones, as you know. So I had to pick it up. And here is the back cover. Like I said, I hope you can see this. Let me put it up close to the screen. So that's the first thing that I got, and I was really, really, really excited to get it, and I'm really, really happy to have it in my collection. I want to start collecting the Rolling Stones. You know, they're one of my all-time favorite bands. I've seen them live, and they were incredible, so I definitely want to have more Stones in my collection. Next up, I've had this for a while. My mother actually got me this. For Christmas, it is a magazine featuring the great Garth Brooks, one of my all-time favorite country singers. 
I love Garth. I've seen him live. Here's the back of it with uh, him and Trisha Yearwood. I love his wife, Trisha Yearwood, too. One of my favorite uh, country couples and celebrity couples. I think they're great together. And there's some great, great pictures of uh, Garth in here. There's actually, wait, is there an... Did I just see the Beatles in here? Wait, you can't be serious. I swear. Oh my god, I did! The Beatles are in this magazine about Garth Brooks. I can't believe it. Look, like I said, some great pictures and all kind of great stuff about Garth Brooks. In this magazine. So, uh, really happy to have that in my collection. You know, I love me some Garth Brooks. Now, next item is a CD I picked up. And it is Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. Now, I'm a casual Bob Dylan fan, but I have been getting into Bob Dylan lately. Um, and this has all my favorite songs on it. Rainy Day Woman, Blown in the Wind, The Times They Are Changing, It Ain't Me Babe. Like a Rolling Stone, Mr. Timberland, Mr. Tambourine Man, Subterranean Homesick Blues, one of my all-time favorites. I want you. And positively Fourth Street is my all-time favorite Bob Dylan song. That's on here, and just like a woman. So I'm covered for Bob Dylan for a while. When I uh, listen to more of his uh, lesser-known music, and I am going to try to listen to a lot of them, I will pick up a more country comprehensive. Bob Dylan collection, but for right now, this is great for me. It has all my favorite songs on it, so I'm happy. So I was happy to pick that up, but I only paid $3 for it. And the last thing I'm going to show you is something... I went back and forth about it. It's a Michael Jackson album item, and I really didn't need it, but I decided to pick it up because I didn't have it. It is the Thriller Picture Disc from Thriller 40. Um, like I mean, Thriller th Thriller 25, excuse me. This is from 2008. Thriller 25, yeah, like I said, I really didn't need it, but it was only 20 bucks. He wanted 25 for it, and I got him down to 20, and I didn't have it. So I figured, what the hell, I'll pick it up. It is Thriller, and, like, and you know, I like to have anything that has to do with Thriller. So I'm more than happy to have this. Uh, glad I picked it up, like I said, for 20 bucks. It's a steal. And now it's in my collection. And here's the back. With all the lyrics. Like I need them. <laughs> I probably know every I could I probably know every word on the average song on this album. So that's what I picked up and like I said, I'm sorry about the glare in the video. I hope this turned out well. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think of what I picked up in the comments. Um, 
I had a great time yesterday, and like I said, next time I'm there, I will definitely do a video from uh, Rogers, uh, Rogers Flea Market and Auctions. It's an unbelievable place, and I know you'll enjoy enjoy taking a uh, taking a, uh, going through with me. So I hope uh, you will stay tuned for that. And if you're new over here, please hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, remember. Peace and love. Peace and love is the only way.